In this video, I'm showing you how you can turn pretty much anything into particles. It's a simple trick using viewports and textures, allowing you to achieve stuff like this. The benefits of using particles are huge. You can easily spawn how many you want, use random rotations, gravity, etc. Particles are powerful, so use them. The trick is simple. We are going to put what we want to display under a viewport, and then we are going to use a viewport texture under our particle node. For the first example, I want to display text in particles. This can be super useful to show damages, for example. First, set up a viewport. We'll use a fixed size of 128 by 128, but we can make this dynamic later if needed. Check transparent background unless you want a black background behind your text by default. Under rendering, we can disable 3D and set up the usage as 2D. Under render target, we check V flip because the rendering is flipped by default. Now, to add text, we simply add a label node under our newly created viewport. I set up the size to match the viewport at 128 by 128. What you put under the viewport node will be displayed in this viewport, so it'll show in your particles later. Now for the particles node, create a particles material to have something to display. Play with the parameters to your liking. And under texture, click to add a new texture and select viewport texture. Here, you select the viewport you want to display, and voila! Something important to note, your viewport must be higher up in the tree than your particle node for it to work correctly. If your particles come first, Godot will try to locate the viewport and because the viewport is not ready yet, it'll throw an error. Another point, you can see that the text changes for every particles I have in this example. And this is expected because they all point to the same viewport. If you need multiple particles with different text, just create a separate scene with its own viewport and particle node. Final point to be aware of. If there's a difference between your viewport size and the content size, you risk not displaying everything. A simple trick is to update the viewport size based on the content size. For example, with text, you put the viewport size to be the same as the label size. And with that, you have everything you need. As you can see, it's a simple trick. In the other example I have here, I've used a video player. You can get as crazy as you want. It can be super useful if you need to show a complex animation or maybe a combination of shaders, whatever you want. Last tip, if you want self-freeing particles, just add a timer to your scene. Set it up to be one shot and start a timer in the ready function based on the particle's duration. Connect the timeout signal to your script and call Q3. If you want to learn more about viewports and see how useful they can be, I recommend this video by Sirbeer Games. Thanks for watching, the code is in the description, bye!